Right, so we are showered and shaved and kind of dressed, I guess. I don't know. We're here in Annapolis and we're going to go out and explore the town and uh, see what kind of trouble we can get into. One look in your eyes and I find it When you leave in my mind I rewind it When you got it this good you don't find So they had exactly what I needed, which is good. I had the guy check it out to make sure it would work on the Gwendolyn. So it's a long walk, two miles, but it's really nice. I mean, it's raining, but it's a really nice walk. It's right up Bay Ridge Drive to the West Marine. So about a 45 minute walk. It's not bad, there's a lot to look at on the way. It's really pretty. I'll show you what I got when I get back to the boat. Cable Master, or Glendening Cable Master, that lets our electrical power cords in and out. Uh, one of them stopped working, and uh, we had hoped it was just the toggle switch. Lynn went in and installed a new one, and that didn't do it. And we realized it's actually the relay board. And I know that because since there's two power cables, I swapped out the relay boards to see if that would solve the problem, and it did. So I just took this relay box apart and uh, I was kind of hoping it would just be a mechanical, old-fashioned mechanical relay system, but it's not. It's kind of a circuit board and the relays are encapsulated in it. And Well, bottom line is I'm not going to be able to just fix it and sand it or whatever could possibly have been wrong that I was hoping for. And I need to get a new one. Unfortunately, they don't sell these at regular shops. I have to get it someplace uh, shipped in. There's only a few places on the internet selling it right now. And we don't really have a mailing address so not sure what we're going to do we're going to figure out a way along the way i'll get a friend or somebody who's visiting us to have it shipped to them and bring it in eventually we'll get it in the meantime i'm going to have to rig something out there where i just move the wires back and forth depending on which power cable we want to use fortunately we almost always use one of the power Oops. cables and um and we only use the other on the rare occasion when we need we want to have 100 amps instead of just 50. So what we'll make do, it's just, you know, another thing that goes, it's $110 or something like that uh, through fisheries supply. So it's not a huge expense and we'll just buy a new one. Darn, and I was hoping I could really fix that sucker. Yeah, well, you did a good job on the uh, toggle switch. That needed to go. I mean, the toggle switch, it may have burnt this out. The toggle switch kind of broke in one position, I think. and. Maybe it was just sending power to this continuously when it didn't need it, and I, I don't know. Whatever reason, two things went at the same time, the toggle switch and the relay board. So, that's life on a boat. Second umbrella. One one umbrella done. Don't I look adorable? Don't you look adorable? Well, it is day four in Annapolis right Yay. now. Just, <laughs> it looks like we're going to be here a couple of more days. The weather uh, has not been cooperating. And it, it, well, as you can see on the windy chart behind me, it's uh, we have uh, 26, 28, 30 knot winds out on the bay. Yeah. 
you know, I'm not, I don't want to go out in that. You know, there's five footers out there. Well, not that we can't do five footers, but then we got to go dock someplace. And anyway, there's about two more days we hope until this weather uh, subsides a bit. But Annapolis is a great town, so we shouldn't complain. That's why we hold up here because we knew uh, if we're going to be stuck someplace for about a week, at least someplace where we have things to do. Okay, and, lots to do yep. and speaking of things to do, I need a new pair pair of Sperry's. I've got a bunch, but they're wearing out, and I'm going to go get another pair, so we're going to go head to the Sperry store and then, I don't know, find a restaurant or something, <laughs> a bar, get meet lunch. some people, yeah, get yeah. lunch. <laughs> so. Roger out. I want to say something about this my friends this is rosemary this is a rosemary bush I saw this in Jersey Shore one time that it grows so big this is amazing it's amazing rosemary oh. there's sage back there and oregano very nice very nice beautiful How do you feel? Yeah, well, this is our last night in Annapolis, I think, I hope. It uh, is. Not that I want to leave, but the weather is changing, so I think we're out of here. So, yeah. heading back to the boat and uh, having a few drinks. Thank you, Ed and Nancy. Thank you for the cakes. They look delicious. I can't wait to try them. We had so much fun with you guys. Just like old friends. Hey! What do you guys do in here? It's 7.24. Uh, we're going to bed early. We want to get up early. We want to get rolling. So, uh... That's what we're doing. How's it going? Okay. Broke the uh, alligator, but the uh, tennis ball's a good idea. Yeah, isn't it? I got a whole bunch of them at home. Okay. Let's keep an eye on this.
We are here at Solomon's Island, where we just arrived after spending four and a half hours out on the Chesapeake. And uh, we are starving. <laughs> we want to get off this boat and go find something to eat. And we are taking our scooters for the first time. And uh, we're going to see how well we do, both getting there and then maybe coming back after a few journeys. <laughs> so, Make we'll a see. bet who's going to fall first. Yeah. Comment. Not going to be me. 